All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm a, I haven't done a video in a while. It's been like three weeks. So I want to give you an update. Uh, this friend, my, for some people, it's the first time seeing my video. My name is Eric. Um, I did the gastric balloon. Uh, so my update, what's going on? Well, the first thing I would say is I'm five weeks into this, and today is officially five weeks. And I've lost about 30 pounds. Um, when I started this, uh, I was around 300 pounds, and I'm close to 270 right now. Right now, I couldn't tell you because I weighed myself this morning, but this morning I was around 270. Um, what can I tell you I've learned from this? Uh, the cravings are gone. Well, some of them are. Uh, I don't have this craving. I'm a big sweets guy. I used to be at least. So I used to be always about getting fine desserts and stuff like that. Uh, I don't have that anymore. I don't crave sweets. I don't. Uh, every once in a while I crave a lot of, I crave bread. I don't eat bread anymore. I cut my diet. Uh, one of the things about this balloon is, yeah, it cuts your appetite, but it's not a miracle worker. I mean, there's some days I, I'm still, I'm still hungry and I'm still eating, but I'm not eating unhealthy things. I think I'm eating more fruit and vegetables, but I'm not getting myself full. Uh, my wife loves it. She loves that I'm losing a lot of weight. Like I said, I'm only five weeks into it, 30 pounds down. My goal doctor told me 50 but I'm gonna really try to shoot for between 50 and 80 that's my goal uh, um, for me to be down around 230 240 I think it's reasonable um, my exercise the first the first month of exercise was tough I didn't have a lot of energy um, right now I'm exercising I'm doing about three to four miles on a treadmill every other day Put in about 45 minutes to an hour worth of weights. Um, just overall workout. Now I didn't get a trainer. Um, I spent enough money on the balloon. I didn't want to spend any more money on a, on a trainer. I'm doing everything mainly by workouts I find online. Uh, I used to do, I played college football. I remember my workouts when I used to be in the weight room there. But it's been helping, I've been shaping. Um, my body is smaller. Uh, I went from a 40 waist, right now I'm wearing a 36. Uh, but it was my waist has never really been a problem. It's my belly more than anything else. So my belly's gone down. Like I said, overall, do I think? And I say this because I, I was watching another video today of a lady um, who was doing this as well. She just got her balloon. I think she's two weeks ahead of me. I think she's on week eight, and I'm on week no. She's on week seven, and I'm on week five. So. She's only lost, um, she's only lost 20 pounds in this time frame and she's really stressing out. And, will I say the balloon did it all? I don't think so. I think I lost the majority of my weight the first two and a half weeks where I couldn't eat anything solid. Um, liquids. If you want to save the money, then I would do this liquid diet. And this liquid diet is not fun. It's painful and excruciating. And and when I say painful is that your body wants food and the balloon makes you say you can't have it because you don't want to feel, you don't want to be sick. And so you fight that back. But if you could, if you have that willpower to say no to food and I'm going to be on a detox, like the people that, that drink those substances and detox and they're just on clear liquids for three days. If you can do that, you can do this um, without the balloon. I'm very now, I don't want to say skeptical about it, but did I lose weight with it? Yes. Am I going to continue to lose weight with it? Yes. Um, do I recommend it for people? Yes. If you're like me and you need something to kickstart your your diet, yes. Uh, we'll see though. Like I'm on week five. Um, we'll see how much weight I lose between now and, and week eight. Um, I don't. I don't know what else. 
what else more to say than 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 that? Uh, my diet. People ask me. I, one of the questions I get a lot is, "Well, what are you eating now?" Well, I eat like everything else. I don't eat carbs. I stay away from like one thing I took. I cut out from my diet was potatoes. I used to be a meat potato guy. Now I have no potatoes, no mashed potatoes, no baked potatoes, no French fries, none of that. Um, I cut out bread. Right. Uh, I eat a lot of hummus. When I get hummus, I do a lot of the the whole grain pita bread chips, but I don't eat a whole lot of them. Um, they're the chips that you get the multi-grain, very low calories. Um, I'm very strict to my calorie count. That's one thing. So I really do limit myself to between 1,500 and 1,700 calories a day. Uh, right now, between my breakfast, uh, one thing's been helping me with my morning shakes. Uh, I make a morning shake where I go out. If I don't have time to make one on my way to work, I stop by the Smoothie King and, and get one of the meal replacement shakes. And they go between, depending on, if I get my basic shake, it's about 290 calories. But I add uh, fiber and I add multivitamins and then I add energy boost to that. So I stay around 340 calories in the morning for breakfast. If I don't, if I don't get that and I just eat breakfast, it's usually like one hard boiled egg and a cheese stick. Um, I have a snack, usually snacks like a, an apple or an orange, something like that. That's an extra 150, 200 calories depending on what I eat and how big they are. And then lunchtime, I'm very, I try not to be very strict, but you know, I have a piece of steak or a piece of chicken. I try to stay between four and six ounces. Uh, I have lots of steamed broccoli. Broccoli is my favorite. Or asparagus. Um, stay away from rice. Stay away from stuff like that. Uh, green peppers, eat last salads. Um, I gave up salad dressing. I, I use balsamic vinegar, vinaigrette, or a, uh, olive oil uh, and vinegar. I kind of use stuff like that. Um, very little though. So I eat a lot of that. Eat a lot of, like I said, vegetables are my big thing. And then afternoon snack, like right now, a little while ago, Add some popcorn, um, no salt, no butter, just the popcorn. Had a, a little small baggie of it. So right now it's gonna be five. It's five. Gonna be five thirty. I'm gonna have dinner here in about half an hour. I'm currently probably around, I don't know, maybe a thousand calories so far for the day. And I'm not. I'm not. I don't feel the strongest. I'm still feel weak. I mean, if you saw a picture of me a month ago, you're probably like, wow, there's a big change, but. Also, the way I am right now has changed. Like, I'm exhausted by the end of the day. And I have still got to go work out here in a little bit. I still got to go to the gym and run on the treadmill. And I still got to teach tonight. I teach dancing classes. So, as you can see, we stay. I stay busy. But I try to keep that 1,500, 1,700 calories. Like I said, a month's down. Five weeks. 30 pounds in. Um, last time I went to the doctor, the doctor was happy. He thinks it's gonna be a lot harder to lose weight, so I'm pushing myself. I figure if I can do 15, 1,700 calories a day, work out, burn 450 to 500 calories, that means my body's only intaking, you know, 1,200, 1,100 calories. And so it should be eating away at my excess fat that I have on my belly. So that's the goal, guys. Uh, five weeks in. I have a couple, next month's going to be real busy for me. I got trips all over the country and trips to Mexico. I'm going to be in decent enough shape to uh, to go to Cancun to take off my shirt. I was in Vegas 4th of July weekend and I didn't take off my shirt at the pool party. So now, you best believe I'm going to take my shirt off in Cancun. Uh, if you ever get a chance in Tennessee, go to Dollywood. Um, I went to Dollywood. When did I go? Two weeks ago? So I was on week four? Maybe end of week three, into week four? I had lost like 24, 25 pounds at that time. Um, so I felt pretty good, but I still was kind of had to take my shirt off. But if you go to Dollywood and you go to the, there's an indoor water park. Shh, no issues taking my shirt off there. I was a model there. <laughs> and as I take it a dig at it, but it's like, I felt skinny. So I'm hoping one day I get to a point where I feel skinny around other people and the other people are skinny people. So yeah, it's been having a lot of fun. Um, 
that's it guys y'all don't hesitate to ask me more questions about this procedure uh, a lot of people have been commenting about uh, what I see in the videos is gas and burping I tell you what when I drink iced tea that's unsweet I just drink regular caffeine the most horrific uh, burp smell I feel like I something died in my mouth so I stayed away from tea, iced tea I don't drink iced tea um, I drink a lot of water every once in a while I'll get a vitamin water or I'll get a, uh, a juice like a pineapple or apple juice um, but it's very rare but I'm also not being I'm not very strict uh, like I said I, I'm strict on my diet but I don't limit myself like uh, I'm not having cake I'm not having chocolate cake or anything like that but if I see something my wife or someone gets my son or daughter they get like the other day uh, we were at dinner and they ordered a brownie and my kids are skinny my wife's she's in good shape um, and so I had a bite you know I didn't kill it I just had a bite I didn't touch the ice cream they had the ice cream but I had a warm fudgy brownie I had a bite of it like I said it didn't kill me um, I still lost like I, I weighed myself the day before and, and then the next day and I still lost like a pound and a half between the two days so uh, like I said I probably would lose more if I'm a lot more strict but as I told someone yeah I want to be skinny but at the same time at what cost so respect yourself love yourself I mean yeah you don't want to be big because you want to be healthy live a long life at the same time though you want to be a happy life so love yourself no matter what shape you are. And if you want to do this, do this for your reason, not for anybody else's reason. Um, I'm doing this because I got really big. And I was skinny. And I want, well, I'm not going to say I was skinny. I was healthy. But then I got too extreme big again. And I was big once before. And I, I lost weight. It took me a year and a half to lose about 100 pounds. Then I gained 40 of it back. And I just didn't want to go that. I was going in that direction. And so I didn't want to do it. Before it got carried away, I got this procedure done because I remember what it's like to be that big and I never want to be that big again. And sometimes it's things, depression, sometimes it's other things in life going on you can't control. And I'm not making excuses, but that happened to me and that's why I went to do this procedure. So, um, And so far I'm getting back to the weight I was after I lost that weight. So... All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. I'm finally getting home. Uh, comment, send me a message here on this, or you can find me on Facebook. Look me up on RocketCityLatinFestival.com. Um, Rocket City Latin Festival on Facebook. Just look it up, Rocket City Latin Festival. You'll see my picture. Um, shoot me a message if you have any questions. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you. Uh, I'll, I'll try to do another video in a week. No promises.